the creators of tomorrow, the makers of yesterday. This is how people describe a civil engineer. However, the question is, are civil engineers really the creators of tomorrow? Or are they the destroyers of the future? A world full of creations is the world where we are living. People, primarily civil engineers, create most of the things that we can see. Starting with the hospital where we were born, the house where we live, the school where we learn, the floor on which we walk, and the road on which we drive. One of the common materials used in constructing these things is what we call concrete. Concrete is mainly composed of four components such as sand, aggregates, cement, and water. These four are mixed together in various proportions in order to build the comfortable homes and towering infrastructures we see today. Little did we know that these components are sourced from our environment, the mountains, the rivers, and even the seas. In this circumstance, we should realize that by obtaining these resources, we are tearing down our mountains and destroying the rich ecosystems of our nature. And as we build our sturdy hard buildings on these natural landforms, we give rise to another problem known as the urban heat island effect. Urban heat island or UHI is a metropolitan area where land cover is replaced with dense concentrations of pavement and concrete. It is a lot warmer because of all the heat produced by people, vehicles, and machinery which results in higher energy consumption, heat-related illnesses, and poor air quality. According to a study by Niva Jim Nevarez, a weather specialist at the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA, the heat balance of Metro Manila has been skewed by urbanization, resulting in a 1 to 2 degree Celsius increase in felt temperature. Nevarez's research discovered that the surface of a city and the materials and designs of its structures influence heat dispersal. She observed that construction materials such as asphalt and concrete absorb and store solar heat. Metro Manila, which was built with such materials, unfortunately has become an urban heat island. As future engineers, it is our responsibility to alleviate these problems and influence significant change. And one way to address these dilemmas is by creating new concrete mixes that are more sustainable and suitable for our ever-developing world. In light of this, our team came up with a solution entitled Be Cool, a concrete mix designed with rice husk ash or RHA and cockle shell ash or CSA which will be used as partial replacements for fine aggregates and cement, respectively. This concrete solution would mainly optimize the low thermal conductivity of concrete from the RHA's silica properties that can insulate and CSA's potential to slash out a significant percentage in the adverse and potential environmental impacts caused by cement production. Through the Be Cool Concrete Mixture, we aim at producing a sustainable concrete that is both durable and can thermally insulate, which can definitely keep our cities cool. The construction industry, which accounts for the extraction of 60% maximum of natural resources, could grant a global quest for more sustainable and responsible use of natural deposits if waste materials including rice husks and cockle shells are optimized. Potentially, these materials are effective substitutes for cement and virgin agriculture. Aggregates. And if the production of rice husk and cockle shell wastes is not preventable, then prompting an economical demand for RHA and CSA would reverse the effects of the usage to disposal pattern of single used resources such as the rice husks and cockle shells. RHA in particular is mainly composed of 93% silicon dioxide, also known as silica, which has low thermal conductivity. 
Cajal shell is mainly composed of calcium carbonate, and through a thermal decomposition process known as calcination, the calcium carbonate can be converted into calcium oxide that makes a cockle shell ash. This cockle shell ash, or the CSA, is mainly composed of calcium oxide, or more commonly known as lime, which occupies 60 to 65 percent of the cement composition, accounting for the strength of concrete. According to studies, around 2 million tons of rice husk are produced annually in the Philippines alone, while approximately 10 million tons of seashell wastes, including cockle shells, are produced and disposed globally. With all these wastes being discarded, Bico Concrete Solution is on the call to join the global quest for sustainable and responsible use of natural resources. That by taking advantage of these undervalued resources, we hopefully can reduce the warming of our cities by considering alternative measures to mitigate the over-exploitation of virgin deposits due to the ever-rising demand for sand and cement. Undeniably, Infrastructure developments are steadily augmenting, and urban cities are exponentially growing at a rate that our nature cannot keep up with. Hence, it is high time that we break from the old and conventional concrete mixes. It is now more than ever that we embrace innovations like the Be Coal Concrete, which focuses on addressing the alarming threats in the future. Climate change, global warming, and depletion of natural resources, among others. Based on previous studies, B coal concrete mixture is expected to be at least as strong if not more significant than commercialized concrete. The average potential environmental impact reduction acquired by this concrete solution can be explained through the use of RHA and CSA which are significant amounts to facilitate sustainability. Further, it is projected that this concrete mixture will have decreased thermal conductivity which is definitely cool. As future civil engineers, we want to improve things and figure out what's best for the world. Since we all live in a world of creation. And we want to be the creators, not the destroyers. <laughs>